Why do you need your eye glazer? When you had a previous cataract surgery done or lens replacement surgery done, you start noticing for some reason that your, your vision is just not what it used to be. Now the reason being is the lens sits in a lens capsule and that capsule is your original lens capsule. Now your eye's got a metabolism of its own and fluid constantly um, runs through your eye and protein deposits then starts to cling to that lens and it feels to you as if you're looking through a mist. Um, it almost feels the same way that it felt when you started to develop a cataract. Now, how is doctor going to remove that? It's not a surgical procedure. He's going to um, put dilating drops into your eyes. We're going to wait for half an hour for, the, for your eye to dilate. He does this at the Life Peninsula Eye Hospital in Claremont. We hire the machine from them. He's going to ask you to put your chin in a little bucky like this with your head against the front and he's going to literally shoot the lens proteins off the capsule. You, you'll feel as if he's not doing anything. You'll, it will be like 5-10 seconds, you'll hear this tick 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 sound and afterwards you still think that he didn't do anything because your pupil will still be dilated and your vision will still be blurred. following morning when you get home, remember you can't drive yourself home because you will be dilated and blurred, you'll be sensitive to light, consider wearing a pair of dark sunglasses. Following morning when you wake up, your pupil will be back to its normal size and you will start to see clear again. It doesn't have to happen, it can happen a month after surgery, it can happen three months after surgery, six years after surgery, it doesn't have to happen both eyes at the same time, it can happen one first and then the other. Almost the only thing that can happen with your actual lens after cataract surgery. He does medical aid cover for it. If you're only on a hospital plan, they're not going to cover for it. If you're on a full medical aid, we'll provide you with a quote. There's two or three codes on the quote, and you can get an authorization from your medical aid. We are going to ask you to pay us and then claim back from the medical aid. Together on your invoice, your authorization will reflect, and you'll be able to, to submit that claim to them.